Hi, I'm Kaylee Martinez, and you're watching Access Unlimited TV, and I'm here with Cobra Prade from Cobra and the Lotus. How are you doing tonight? Hello, everybody. I'm doing great. Thank you. That's great. How are you doing on tour so far? Uh, good. We're having a lot of fun, and it's the third show. Everything kind of clicked into place on this show, which was very nice. There's a bit of mayhem always on the first few gigs, so um, it was nice to kind of hit our groove and our stride for the first time in the tour, and now I think it's going to be pretty smooth sailing moving forward, so yeah. good people, good bands. Really interesting lineup, actually. I might say it's one of the most interesting <laughs> we've been a part of. There's really eclectic stuff going on, but really cool stuff, so... Yeah, for sure. And you guys were just in Denver previously. You spent your 420 there. How was that? Yeah, uh, well, it was packed and the city was packed. It, it was just, um, I, it was a good day. The only thing was it snowed. It got really cold tonight. Yeah, yeah but no, it was great. And there was a lot of gigs happening. Um, our guy, Ronnie, actually had his appendix removed the day oh, before yeah. and then played a show with Inner Circle. I don't know if you know the, like, la 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 la. <laughs> yeah, and then came and played with us, and he trooped through it. So uh, that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. How is he doing with recovery? Is he doing better? Great. Yeah, Great. he's a tough guy. Oh, that's good. So far with tour, do you have a favorite venue or place that you guys like to play with? Um, well, we just started, so, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think tonight the sound really got dialed in at uh, Sunshine Studios. Mm -hmm. so that was nice. Um, I'm not sure. Let me see where we're going here. Uh, I know the Masquerade in Atlanta is pretty great. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking forward to being there. The machine, sh machine shop in Flint, of course, is legendary. And i um, very excited to be back there. Yeah. And some exciting news. Your album coming out um, April 27th. It's already and for pre-order. <laughs> yeah. I'm impressed. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Six yeah. days away. Excited, I'm sure. Yeah. Very excited. Yeah. And you also released um, a new song, um, Let Me Love You, or you yeah. released a Japanese version of it. We did. Yeah, we did. did. Did you learn Japanese specifically for that song? I spent a couple months just working on that song specifically, actually. Mm -hmm. I put tons of work into it with um, a woman that lives in Vancouver now. She's a Japanese lady named um, Nariko Nakaya and she was wonderful. Uh, the whole song had to be rewritten because mm -hmm. it does not directly translate and it's funny because I've seen people like um, that are just very very purist mm -hmm. around speaking other languages and they're commenting like you can't directly translate blah 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 and I'm just like I know I spent a month rewriting that song with someone that's Japanese so that it makes sense in their language you know yeah. so this song's interesting because it is very beautiful and it if it, it it's different mm -hmm. you know it's like instead of um, oh darling uh, I cherish all the shadows of your, of your past it's like uh, oh darling um, you don't know how beautiful in nature you really are. Mm -hmm. That's how it would read in Japanese. Oh, nice. it, it is. It's really sweet. So um, it was fun. It was really cool. It was definitely like a different thing that yeah. we we did. It was stepping inside our box, but yeah. I don't know. We love to surprise people. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and for this next part of your album, it's a part two to the first Prevail one. Yes. How would you explain like the different type of theme you're going with this album? Is it continuing uh, the same or? I mean, in general, it is the same in the sense that it's just very vulnerable and it's about human experience and um, specifically like human experience and mm -hmm. emotion and interaction and and feelings, um, you know, throughout your life, uh, which is a broad thing to encompass, but it's actually really relative and it does it does really get small when you see like how people relate to each other even through different experiences with similar feelings mm -hmm. so I would say it's the same thing but it is a little darker yeah um, sure. it's definitely maybe even a little more emotional in some places mm -hmm. uh, there's some stuff where you can you can like hear the pain too like there's yeah. a song called Whitewater I think people will really hear like the sadness mm -hmm. in this song yeah yeah, I kind of got that from some, watching some of your videos, especially like Soldier from like a while ago. You could get like the sadness and it really hits you with that. And is that how you yeah. want to make all your videos as impactful? Absolutely. I mean, you never know if it's going to do that for people. Um, but the goal is always to have an impact and a positive one. Yeah. You know, most first and foremost, it's supposed to be something 
positive in the end for people, even if it's a hard feeling, something that impacts you in a way that makes you reflect on it in a good way. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, that's the only reason I do music is yeah. definitely for the message and the fact that um, it speaks to people differently and connects people. I think that's like an amazing gift, yeah, the way people uh, come together over music. Mm -hmm. And how do you think, like, in your personal life, does it ever affect what the songs you write and such like that and inspire that? Totally. I mean, these albums, Prevail 1 and 2, are really personal for me. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, hopefully they're written in a way, though, that people can put their own story in there mm -hmm. with however they're relating to it. Yeah. That's very important. But there is definitely a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff put in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's really amazing to like get your fans involved as well into that. I think that's really amazing. Oh, thank you. Um, I, I think it's important. Uh, yeah. Um, that also makes the impact, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Especially just seeing you up on stage, you're smiling, you're happy, you're interacting with everyone. <laughs> what, what's your favorite part about doing all this and creating music? Uh, it is without a doubt those live moments when I see how people have been connected over music and they're from all different walks of life. It like, some people enjoy the studio, this is even in our band, some people like the writing, some people like the studio, some people like the live shows, some people like the touring. It all comes down to one thing for me and it's the way it connects people. And yeah. it's that one moment that everything is worth it for. Um, the rest, you know, none of it is my favorite except for that <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well that's great and any final thoughts or any comments like promo your new video instagram um like that. well we are releasing uh quite a different video again on mm -hmm. uh, it's not in japanese though <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, yeah. but um it is different and we will be releasing that with the album on mm -hmm. april 27th so i'm super excited to release that one and uh yeah, it's really fun. And then we have another one coming after that a mm -hmm. month or so later, and that one is supposed to be really funny. Hopefully it's okay. as funny as we think it is. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> Want to give us a little teaser on that? Or? It involves f strings and flying. Ooh. So it's, yeah, it, it was a hilarious day. Mm, yeah, I bet. I mean, I'm too light for the strings um, to, like, a top, I guess I'm bottom heavy. <laughs> So, um, they had someone eventually just dress up in a green blanket mm -hmm. to hold me in the green screen. Oh my gosh. So, in my ankles. And that guy was sweating so bad. <laughs> I felt so bad for him. He had such a hard job Aww. because he had to hang on to me and, like, move with my <laughs> legs like this. Yeah. And everyone in the room could see it, you know, while the video was happening. I wasn't paying attention so much because I was doing the video, mm -hmm. but then when I watched it, it was just hysterical because this poor dude is under the blanket, like, working his ass off. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was great, good. though. It was funny. Funny moments with the guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It took a little while to balance on those things. Yeah. Do you have any future tour plans once this new album comes out? Are you going to keep going on that? Yeah. We have plans to um, tour the crap out of it, but mm -hmm. we have to... Uh, Definitely, we've started to become smarter about our places, just because touring is um, not the most cost-effective thing in life. Mm -hmm. So we really want to come where we can, but we have to make sure it's a smart decision. So right now, as it stands, for the rest of the year, we are looking at another European tour uh, in the fall, and that's probably where it's going to be left off for the year. Mm -hmm. And then next year, you know, it's going to be definitely the States and again, and uh, yeah. Europe again and <laughs> UK the cycle continues hopefully yeah. in new territory South America or something we'll see yeah well that sounds great um, you guys are doing great things right now you have amazing things coming out April 27th so stay tuned for that it, I enjoyed talking to you and it was so nice to meet you guys thank and you. watch you perform you did a great interview so thank you very much <laughs> yeah thank you <laughs> rock on guys is that good